so welcome back now in this video we will simply get the username from the firebase firestore okay so the reason behind that whenever the user will search in here for the post or any kind of individual or search in here for anything the post that is uploaded by the current user they can simply search in right in here okay so we're gonna first get the name from the firebase firestore okay and then we will be able to do that so simply let's go right at top above the widget build okay right in here we will create a method by the name of init we will name this as a searching it's PAR searching okay post okay it's gonna draw the force and it's gonna take a parameter string text enter okay so there we go so that text enter is gonna be that text okay whenever the user will enter something right in here okay so in here let's go and create an instance to the firebase firestore so that we can get the name okay to the collection of users okay name must be similar guys okay and where we want to get that right from the name okay of the current user so is greater than or equal to so if the name is greater than or equal to to the text enter then we're going to show that now okay and right after simply get it okay the name as you guys can see right in here now we will simply assign that okay to the post to command list you're gonna name that and create that okay so simply write a top in here let's create the document place so in here you will say future okay and query snapshot and then let's have this right in here post document list okay so now copy that and in here we will simply assign this line of code to the post document list as you guys can see okay there we go are you good yes make it step by step collection where you get okay and we all assign this right in this post document list okay so whenever we get the name we will assign that to this post document list okay and create that right in here so let's move further in here if it has its tab okay because it's a start for widget okay as you told before it will change the frame dynamically so in here we will call upon that in here okay so all good and it's going to take a multiple documents okay so in here we can simply refactor this and here just simply put with this document as okay as a table it will take multiple documents so it will look more proper okay so that's fine and we will also create our string type variable you're gonna need that okay so here is a string type okay and let's create that for the user name text okay in which we will simply assign the text enter okay it's gonna be right inside the username text so let's go down now in this on change as you guys can see right in here let's work right in dash we can simply assign that text enter okay first let me write that in here 
your assign this to the user name text okay the variable that we created just while ago it's gonna be right inside that in here and guys one more thing as I told you before is a stateful widget okay so simply we're gonna cut this from here and we will set this right inside the search chart okay so it's gonna change the text whenever the user will enter it will change it dynamically and with the help of this chat we will able to do that then okay so in here set that right after in here let's call upon the method that we created okay the init search and post one okay and it's going to take the text into as I told about that parameter okay that's fine in here as you guys can see and now on the on press in here whenever the user will click on the search icon then we will simply call upon that in here the search posting system okay the method we created before and it's gonna simply take this time the username okay and write in the username text as you guys know what we assign to the user text right in here the text enter that the user will enter right in here okay in the text field right in here okay so the user whenever will, will enter some text okay there's gonna be that text and you will assign that to the username text okay in here and now whenever the user will click on the search or press enter anything as you guys can see in here on the on press click event okay then we assign that username text the text that the user enter it's gonna be right inside that okay and this method which we will see right in here we implement in this search in a searching post we simply create an instance to the file base file store right in the collection of a user where we want to get the name for the current user from the name okay right in the user collection and in this name if it's equal to or let's say or greater than to that name okay that the user will enter the tax enter okay then simply we will get that and we will show it to the user so that's all the thing that we have created for now and whenever we will create the model and later on we will create a query just to get the data from the firebase okay and then everything will be ready the design and everything and we will show it right in here on the emulator okay right on the search for screen for now on that's it for this video okay guys right in the next video we will work further right from the search post okay